Hey, what's happening, guys? We are going to start a small series, probably three parts, on building your own function generator. And at the heart of that is going to be this guy right here. Let's see if we can read that. No? Well, I don't know. I don't know why we can't read that. Anyway, it's an NE555, five, 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 a 555 five, five timer, one of the most versatile ICs there is. I mean, it's it's used in absolutely everything. So, if you see my video, the simplest way to make a 555 timer, that's what we're going to start with. So, we need a couple jumpers. We need to go pin 8 to the power rail and pin 1 goes to ground. Then all we need are two components. We're going to use a variable potentiometer between pins 6, 7, and 8 and a capacitor between pins 1 and 2. And the final thing that we need is a jumper between pin 6 and pin 2. Just like that. And now we have a 555 timer. All right, let's add some power. I'm going to put in 5 volts from my power supply and then we will attach a lead to pin 3 which is the output and to that we will attach the oscilloscope probe <clears throat> excuse me always connect your grounds first I'll set up the oscilloscope here and let me adjust the camera. All right, so if we look at the scope, you can see we have a nice square wave pattern. Our peak to peak voltage is yeah, right about five volts. Now, our adjustable potentiometer lets us adjust the duty cycle. So if I turn it one way, the duty cycle gets greater and if I turn it the other way the duty cycle gets smaller let's put it as close to 50 percent as we can get now the value of that potentiometer really doesn't matter because it's just a ratio a larger valued potentiometer like say a 50k or something is going to give you a more gross tuning whereas a smaller one is going to give you a finer tuning okay but we have no way to adjust the frequency like this all adjusting that pot does is change out the duty cycle so what if we want to adjust the frequency well the way things are at the moment the only way we can adjust the frequency is to take out one capacitor and add in a different one. That was uh, 0.1 microfarad. Let's put in uh, 0.22 microfarad. And if we go back to the scope, you can see how our frequency has changed and our duty cycle remains about 50%. But that is a highly inefficient way to do things. 
So what we're going to be wanting to change our frequency quite easily with our function generator. And to do that, we're going to use a little variable capacitor. These are used for tuning in various radios. So we just plug it in between pins one and two. Let me adjust the scope here. Come back up and get the scope in the picture. There. So you can see now our frequency is 9.25 kilohertz. And if I adjust that little tuning capacitor, our frequency climbs. That's the maximum range. We're up to 55 kilohertz and down to uh, 9.25 kilohertz. So now we have two separate adjustments. We can adjust duty cycle with the potentiometer and we can adjust frequency with the capacitor. So now we have the makings of a function generator. At this stage all it's going to give you are square waves. And that's okay for this part. In the second part, we're going to add a triangle wave. And in the third part, we are going to add a sine wave. Then you'll have a functional function generator. Okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.